Well, welcome to the One Road Homestead. Uh, you may know, maybe you've seen this in a previous video, I'm not even sure. I built this chicken coop you see behind me and I built it on my driveway here because I thought, oh, I'll just build the thing and I'll move it back to where it needs to be. But lo and behold, it weighs like 500 pounds, no joke. So I need to move it way back over there under that carport you see way off in the distance. So I'm not gonna be able to move it like up here and, and go down that way, which would be the easiest in terms of path. I'm gonna have to take that thing with my tractor, tow it essentially all the way over here down this giant hill, all the way back to where it needs to be and up the hill again. I really kind of put myself between a rock and a hard place. Just last week, I already tried, I already attempted to move this thing and it didn't work and I, and I made some damage on the thing. So you can see this damage here. I attempted with some chains I wrapped around the two legs there and I had my tractor here and I was lifting it up and I had a dolly over here with some wood and it just didn't work. So this is the setup that I'm going for now. So I, what I really wanna do is put two wheels on each one of these four by four posts here. And I wanna get it up off the ground on the wheels as it sits. And that way I can just tow this thing around without having to lift it up too high. I hope that somewhat makes sense. It makes sense in my mind. And that's what I was attempting to do with a, a hand truck or a furniture dolly. Um, last week, but I was just using one dolly in the center and with chains and it just, the thing almost tipped over like three times and I was finally like, I've just got to stop this now before I knock this thing over. Then I got these two by six by tens and I'll show you what I'm going to do with these after I mount the wheels. We're off the ground. And like I was saying, I don't need this thing to be super high off the ground where the wheels are. They, it just needs to be off the ground. All right, so I do see a slight problem. So I am gonna have to go high enough to where this tire will clear this support post here. There we go. Now you can see I have some space for that tire. So if this tire is mounted here, then it's not gonna come into contact with that support post right there. Make sure the wheel is flush. So I'm gonna stick a marker through that hole and try to mark the center of it. Now I can center it off and all that good stuff. This is the bolt. It's a foot long, five eighths inch bolt. There we go. Perfect. All right, this is a preliminary test here, and I didn't put any more air in these, so this is just filled with air from the store. So they do feel pretty hard. We'll see, there's four tires. I mean, it's gotta hold. Please hold, let it down slowly. Oh, yeah, look at that. Those things aren't even bowing out. This may work better than I thought. I don't feel like there's any excessive sidewall bowing or anything like that. Everything seems really good, good to go. And as for the two by 10, something like that, and I still have two foot hanging off the other end. Now the reason why I want some meat hanging off of this is so that when I attach my tractor, my bucket and the chains and everything, I'm not right up against the coop, which is what I did last time. And the chains just ripped everything up. So now I can put some chains on this and have my tractor bucket two foot out and on chains that are attached to this. I'm putting a hole basically center of this two by six and also center of this four by four. I've got these long deck screws. I think they're three and a quarter, I believe. All right, here's the screw situation. You can see this is my center screw. I put a couple more, three more here, and I put two more in that other post there. Now, you can also see that the screws aren't flush to the wood and that's because I, all, I drilled them all at varying angles, and so that's so that I can kind of help have this more grip. I've heard that a straight-in nail or screw, you know, has a normal amount of grip, but if it's at an angle, it just somehow has a lot more grip. All right, well, there is the final result. What do you think? The two boards here hang off about two feet on each side. That'll give me a lot of room to grab onto it with some chains in the bucket of my tractor. And the back is already off the ground, so I don't really have to lift it all that high. I don't know about you, but I think this is gonna work perfectly. Nothing like what I was doing before. 10 times 
a hundred times better than what I was doing before. I wish I filmed that because it was really dumb, but this seems like it's not so dumb. Well, I can tell you right now the chickens like it. Not exactly what it was intended for, but I guess if they like it, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to keep it on here. It's a new day. I've begun the process just to see if it was even possible. This thing is definitely probably top heavy, so making me a little worried. Not gonna lie, moving that coop all the way over here, up these hills and on a steep bank the whole time was very scary. I didn't think I was really gonna be able to pull that off, but I had to go really slow in the tractor and just make sure that I was really pay paying attention to everything. And there was a few times where I thought that thing was going over, but I was able to drop it and uh, and save it essentially so and you thought this video wasn't gonna have one of the trucks in it i drove my 95 up here with some tools i'm gonna take off those wheels try to level this thing out for the birds wheels are off the ground and i'm gonna go ahead and take these things off you know it looks cool it'd be cool to keep these on here in terms of looks but the problem is is these would just eventually just flatten out and just get ruined <sighs> all right there's those two slowly well, we're on the ground, no wheels. I just leveled it a little bit. Um, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. So I know these chickens aren't gonna be like, ah, this thing's off kilter. It's pretty close. I don't think you're gonna be able to tell. I think that's where it's gonna sit for a while. I mean, this was our vision is to have it underneath this carport. This is gonna all evolve over time, but right now today's task was to get this coop under this carport out here. This is a pretty large carport. We did it, we did it. I'm super stoked. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Jimmy for One Road. If you haven't already, check the description below. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. The handle is at One Road Garage. You can also go to the website at oneroadgarage.com. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, I'm Jimmy again for One Road, and I will see you in the next one. Oh yeah, and massive props to the Suburban yet again. And this is why I think Suburban just may be better than a pickup truck. I mean, I am carrying my fishing poles, which you can see right there. I'm carrying all this stuff and I'm carrying my jack just the same way you would use a pickup truck. However, this is totally enclosed. So I have no weather in here, so nothing's getting wet and it's safe from prying eyes when I go to the store and park somewhere. So. Yeah, Suburban. Oh yeah, and I have four full-size doors and seats, so that's pretty cool too.